Question. How could you possibly utilize an unlimited transformative potential energy if you're not even aware of its existence? You can't. That's the answer. And that's why they don't tell you who and what you are, man. How could you possibly utilize an unlimited transformative potential energy that is your engine of creation that can manifest greatness and miracles anytime, anywhere, readily available to you always? How could you access something you aren't even aware of its existence of? The answer is you can't. You don't even realize it's there. You're this celestial treasure that you are. That's why they don't tell you the truth. They fool you with their law of attraction, science, mysticism, Scientology, astronomy, astrology, all the alleged disingenuous spirituality that they're force feeding you. This is not real spirituality. Spirit is consciousness. You don't need crystals and feathers and sage and incense. You don't have to go shopping online for these accessories and these accoutrements. That's not spirit. Check it. The very source of all creation that created all of creation from the same energy created you. So you are comprised of the same energies of all of these things that you think that you have to bring into your life. That you're missing devoid absent. I've got to fill my life with these things because then I'll be more spiritual. I have to have more crystals, more sage, more Palo Santo, more incense, more feathers. That will make me more spiritual and bring me closer to source. Wrong. That's a disingenuous spirituality that you're falling into the trap of commercialism, disguising itself as spiritualism. There's no such thing as spiritualism. Every ism is a schism. Schism means breach, division, conflict. Look it up. There's no such thing as any ism when it comes to God. That's creatures. That's the reptilians, man. That's what you call the system. The order, corporations, governments, the structure, Babylon, however you want to name it, that's where that stuff's coming from. Because division is what gives them power. They refer to themselves as the powers that be. The powers that be? How can that be? Because if they had any power, they wouldn't have to hide their illegal activities. I ain't going to get into what that's all about, but let's just say... Why don't you do yourself a favor and research this? Look how many children go missing around the world. How many millions? It's into the millions. It's more than 15 million. The number you'll get is 8 million when you research it online, but it's double that. Now I'm going to ask this question to you. Where are all these missing children going? They're not walking off the planet. They're not walking off the face of the earth. The powers that be ain't got no power at all because I said before that darkness has no power. The only power it has is the power that you're giving it. You're perceiving this to have power over you and that's the illusion. That's the deception. They, they can control your perception of things. Check out the last few minutes of The Wizard of Oz. That's predictive programming. They're telling you right there. That we don't have power. We control you with fear and intimidation and paranoia. And we frighten you. That's how we control you. But when they pulled back that curtain, you saw a tiny little guy there. Pressing the knobs and the buttons and the switches. Making the smoke and the fire and the explosions. And they were afraid until they peeled back that curtain and realized, this is what I'm afraid of? This is nothing. I have power. You don't have power. The only thing you do is deception. And trickery, subterfuge, chicanery, chaos. You induce fear because you feed off of it. Because the darkness has no power. It is neither proactive nor autonomous. It is a reactive homogenous entity that siphons the high vibrational light from you. It's a parasite, a leech, a vampire. It cannot, it cannot bring its own power because it doesn't have it. It cannot manifest itself. That's why it has to pull in all the power from the surrounding environment just to become an apparition. It cannot create anything. The darkness is a destructive force. Only the light is creation. You've got to be able to differentiate between these things. You have the power. You are the power. That's why they don't tell you 
You are an unlimited transformative potential energy capable of manifesting greatness and miracles anytime, anywhere. You're so hooked into, I'm proud to be this, or you have to reinforce your belief systems, with, which are all disempowering in nature. That's why they put them in your head to control you with them. And you haven't figured it out. Look at all of the different groups we have here, man. How much fighting and chaos is going on? If you don't believe what I believe, then I have to take you out. By any means necessary. It's the old divide and conquer paradigm. And they keep running it on you because you don't change. Because you're not catching on to what's going on. Everything is one. All you got to do is just like, look, I'm an individual, man. I'm going to express myself whether you like it or not. Because I love myself enough to not concern myself with what anybody thinks about me. Because I just don't care. And that's how you have to live your life. Existence is less than survival. Thriving is far more than living. So thrive in your environment by being yourself. Yes. And realizing your unlimited potential and explore that and what it means to you and what it can do for you and what you can do for others. And that's what life is all about. At least for me it is, man. God bless.